continuing on in this third video, I have noticed that uh, the coined areas in the crimp forms are not visible. And that's because of this delete face feature I added when I flattened the part. So I just only need to click on it and suppress that feature. And now the crimped areas are, or the coined areas are now there. Uh, the station before we're bending these legs up, those are unbent. So I'll unbend that leg and this leg. Again, using that DIN 6935K factor, which automatically calculates the K factor. And I'll insert a station mark, and that'll be 100. Form up crimp ends and then we need to flatten this area out so the first thing I'm going to do is delete the lofted faces the bodies of those lofted areas and now I'll unbend these crimped crimp forms right here bend by steps And that on each side of the center line. This one will just unbend each side separately. Next, I have to move these bodies so that they're even with this body right here because this is where we're holding on to the part. So I'll use the uh, move body feature. And I use the constraints option, so I move this face down to this face. That body's moved, so I'll use move happy body again. And again, this face down to this face. And next I need to move these, these two bodies into their correct positions uh, because when we did that flattening, if I show the sketch for the flattening, you can see that all of this slides out this way to the left. So I'm going to make a measurement. Here to here. About 21 thousandths and the same thing here to here. Close to about 21 thousandths. So let's just say I'll move it. Uh, yep, there you go, 21 thousandths. So I'll use move copy body, and I'll move this body and this body, and I'll use the translate option this time, and I'll move it in the x direction, negative 21 thousandths. And then. Um, I got that moved and you can see that on the formed areas right here how this is longer here and here that is because when you do a flattening it's doing the flattening through to the mid stock thickness essentially k, uh, k factor 0.5 where this was calculating smaller k factors and so next I need to uh, lo uh, extrude these areas in here using this uh, sketch right here as a reference. So on the top plane, I'll start a sketch. And I'll just draw in some lines. Uh, here, I'll just simplify this geometry uh, with some lines. And uh, Something like that. And then over on this side, I'll just go from here. Here we go. And then I will 
fix this geometry so it doesn't move. And now I can hide this sketch. I don't need it anymore. And I'll just create a center line right here so that I can mirror these entities. About that line. And now I can close these shapes. And extrude it up to that face there. Join those bodies all together with the extrusions. And I can now insert a station mark. And this will be 110. This will be for the Lance form. down here on the end. I'll bend that lance form and I have to use the shearing option in unbending by steps and I have to select the sheared edges. Sun bent. But let's say before I put in that last station mark, next station mark, uh, let's say I got approval from the customer to add some clearance in here so that when we create, when we uh, do that lands form, we don't drag a sliver. So I'll do that right now. First, I'll put a sketch on here, convert that geometry, and then I'll delete those relations and fix them in place. I'll do the same thing on this side, exit that sketch, create a new sketch on this side, and again, convert entities, delete, delete those entities or relations, and then fix those in place, exit sketch, and then I just need to, I'm going to move these sketch entities above this Lance form feature. And I'll roll up and I'll use this sketch to create an extruded cut of three thousands deep. I'll do the same thing down here. For this sketch, shoot a cut, three thousandths deep. Then I'll add some fillets, a couple of small two thousandths fillets here and here. And then uh, another fillet here and here. And then I can roll the history bar back down to the bottom. And that's what that looks like after Lance form is flattened. And I can insert another station mark. And that's old 20, uh, this is where we are, coin, chamfers on bottom. And that's the end of this video.